Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Andrew Center International and welcome back to Art Survivor 4. Hey man, Andrew, and today we play some Art Survivor 4 arms against Tyranny. In particular, in the last episode I left you and I was about to end this push. It should help me maybe encircling the Netherlands and killing some of the troops that are stationed here. And they recognize that in the south of Germany, here, we are defending with really, really a small amount of troops. So, what I'm going to do now, while I keep my air forces busy in this area, by the way, those air forces are really bad, but I might consider maybe doing this so that we can push in this direction. And I'm going to activate the, um, um, the orders of all the general Zingales, Basti, Gorata, Vercellino. Uh, because I need to... Where is Rosi? No, not you. Not you. Visconti st stays where he, ha where he is. Basti is already moving. Vercellino. So... Why do we want to do this? Uh, we have only 18,000 men in the reserves. And uh, I could now go into the direction all adults must serve and scrape in the barrel. Because actually I'm not training anybody. So all adults uh, should serve is the way to go. But uh, I need really to, um, to give the, let's say, that uh, I need to hit uh, Germany massively and give the final put the final nail on the coffin that's how you say that in English, right? This is what we are going to do what we are trying to do at least Let's get to Amsterdam uh, so we can uh, close this encirclement and get rid of uh, Yes, my friend, exactly like this. Get rid of all those um, divisions. And as soon as we, are, as we are done here, then we can push forward and further. I don't know how many divisions we destroyed here, but I think around 20. And look, now we are getting back to Augsburg, but okay, this time from from the west. Look how well we push it. This is wonderful, isn't it? Consider that this is speed 3. The speed of our army is massive. Everything is collapsing here. So, what we are gonna do now... I take Zingales. I say you go to Hamburg. Go. I take this guy here. And they say now you take Prague. Olmuk and Bratislava. You take this guy, not that you stay, you go to Prague, and Regensburg, also very uh, important, and Berno. You stay, you push. Because there, we, we don't have any issue anymore. We need to take Nuremberg again. <clears throat> We need to do all this stuff before we um, are out of, of uh, power. So here in Germany, we should close this, then go south. We got the Cairo. Here we do also the following. We take Kiel to go in this direction. Oh, oh, I made a mistake. I wanted to say you. All the other troops can wait. Well, this is funny, isn't it? All right, let's unpause. I look at Denmark. <laughs> the Danish troops are resisting. Um, as I said uh, a few episodes ago, it looked as if they wanted to end their existence forever, but actually they've been lucky. Or maybe they calculated everything with us. <laughs> And yeah, I think they're getting much better now for them. 
And this is another encirclement that will allow us to take Dortmund. Eh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> another, another bunch of divisions that are saying how feed us in to this cruel world. Oh, my dear friends. Oh, my dear friends. 76%. This is so delicious. This is so delicious. <laughs> All right. Well, this operation has been prepared in every detail, so it would be very sad if now I lose. Uh, due to a lack of manpower. But talking about that, I mean, we lost only 433,000 men. Germans lost more than 2 million. And most of them, uh, I mean, we lost most of them now. We lost most of them now because of the push. Nuremberg is coming. If you get Prague and Berno, I mean, Bremen, we have Bremen, we have Bremen, we can move to, uh, to Hamburg, guys, most important harbor in Germany. Do you hear it in the, in the, in the background? Nine, 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 nine. He's here, he's eating his... Huh? The United States demands transfer of American older holdings. The United States demands transfer of American holdings. In a speech before both houses of Congress, President Delano Roosevelt has announced that his government remains committed to the Monroe Doctrine, which states that no outside power should be allowed to hold territory in the Americas, while in practice, American government has tolerated other democratic countries it cannot be accepted legal occupation so basically they won't count the back president should mind his, or, uh, his own business Canada remains Italian for the time being I know that it's risky because if they declare war on us now, well, we, we're about to, uh, to to kill Germany. But uh, by the way, there is no Norway that we have to kill as well, and I wasn't aware of it because that's not a my mi uh, minor, so um, a minor, yeah, a minor nation. Another invasion support. Or... <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's take um, let's take Germany first, and then let's go. Uh, let's go. Ahead. Let's continue. Let's get to Hamburg. You go to Berlin. You go to Berlin better. You go to Berlin. in Magdeburg. The next big city is Berlin. So, come on. Who is reaching Berlin? Who is the first one? Who is the first one? Who is the first one? I, I, I don't know who is the first one. I have no clue. But I, what I, but what I know is that Germany has just capitulated and uh, they're done. They're gone. They're gone, guys. They're just gone. Let's close now Slovakia and Hungary. Um, and let's take Zingales. No, not him. You... Where are you? Pronto. You're too far. Pronto. Pronto, okay, Bastico. 
I don't know how many troops I can uh, disembark, but 10 divisions, right? How long does it take? 70 days. My goodness. 70 days is a lot. It's fine. I mean, there is only a uh, Norway that we have to to deal with. Okay, Slovakia is done, and as you can see, also Hungary is done. They're just they're just all fragmented here. That looks pretty good. Yeah, but you don't have to. <laughs> You have to go inside, you need to go around, you need to go inside, my dear friend. Okay, I can't do uh, this... Um have an invasion if I am not ready, okay, fine. Yeah, I mean, I, I can do only one of this. All right, it seems now if I look at, um, at um, the war I'm against the Dutch, uh, South America, Venezuela and Norway, which means that now if this guy that has to uh, take the control of Norway while my other guys go here right and those other boys are going here oh that's going to be interesting this is going to be very interesting let's speed up a little bit and the kingdom of Denmark must be so happy about that isn't it Hey, wait a minute, you bad boy, why Germany is still alive and they're taking the control of Africa, excuse me, no cheating please, for real, you bad boy. Alright. Oh, the German Reich is fully decrypted, really, don't tell me. For real. For real. Fully decrypted, you know? Could you, could you ever imagine? I don't know. Okay, Turkey at the end didn't join the Axis or stuff like that, but you never know. Actually, I could invade um, Norway by taking the control of Sweden from the, from, uh, the Danish border. I might consider this. I might consider it... Uh, yeah. But with whom? Okay. Visconti. Take control of Sweden. I hope that uh, the US will not uh, now justify so grand to Sweden because I don't have the capacity to um, declare war to the US now. I need first to get a little bit, a little bit of power back. Fuck me, yeah.
No, but they don't grant it yet. Alright, let's do it. Okay. So, there are a lot of things that I have to do here when I will finish the war, but at the moment this is not a, at the moment this is not a priority. As we can do this random stuff to keep the industry busy and not lose our advantages. Um, Pronto, signore. Look, we have all the German, all the German factories. This is huge. This is huge. Let me do then one thing. Let's take the advanced medium tank. Chassis, which is the last design. We do the output design and we improve it with the main armament. I will just put here the medium turret with three men. And then I'm going to take a special module with the um, wet ammunition storage, just giving more reliability. Uh, the radio is already there. The stabilizer for the breakthrough. And more breakthrough and more armor. Then we take more reliability once again. We take the cast armor. I think you did. I think that this tank will. Uh, it's going to be quite slow. We keep it to six kilometers per hour. <coughs> yes, I'm Fiat, and we have them sixteen forty three, which we're going to build <coughs> here. We put all our factories here. I don't know if I have enough resources for this. <laughs> Apparently I do. <laughs> Apparently I do. We're under 50 factories that are going to update our our tanks. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, one important thing. So tactical bombers. Those are fighters. So we just brought here. Alright. And another thing another very important thing, I need to take a fleet and move it here so that I can uh, do the bomb uh, bombing of uh, Helsingborg. Otherwise I won't manage and now they are focusing a lot they're defending a lot and well this is tricky this is tricky now but we are attacking actually with uh, with the trucks uh, that's not what I, we are supposed to do we try to attack with the infantry and with the tanks okay when the infantry and the tanks will start uh, i think we will push here yes exactly Things are getting better. And then we take over Sweden and Norway. Those big guys. Well, it seems that... It is that not everybody's in the US, apparently. <laughs> All right. We'll figure it out, right? Come on. Can you please stop behaving this way, Helsingborg? All right. Pretty good. Move to Stockholm. Okay, we, we, we managed. We are in. We are in.
with Zerum and Power. Let me try to get to Oslo. Sweden capitulating. Oh wow! I think we need to really to take Stockholm and and that's it. All right. By the way, uh, the nuclear bomb should be ready in 68 days. So then we will be able to. Actually, I need to study the. Um, strategic bomb burst if we want to drop some bombs and have some fun. Okay, it seems that they stopped us here, the Norwegian. Eh? They are not so bad. They are really not so bad. Uh, we have really to destroy uh, Sweden first and then I go to Norway. Or, as an alternative, I take all the other, which is, of course, really a better alternative, but at least the Lera. Now I can't recognize them anymore. Um, I bring more troops. Bring in more troops, yeah, sure. All right. that we are having a huge problem with the logistics. We are here full of troops that are not able to, to push. They're not able to get uh, the, the proper logistics. They're actually dying here. But without supply, what's, what's, the, what's going on? Where is the, the first, uh, the closest? Um, the old parts, and then there is Stockholm. Okay, we need to get to Stockholm as soon as possible. That's funny, right? in Germany in a few months and now Sweden is keeping us busy. <laughs> Paradox you overpowered Sweden again. Ah oh, man. That's a real hidden superpower, isn't it? We always knew. I would expect that now we break the lines and we get to Stockholm quickly. <laughs> because I'm getting tired of this. I mean, there, is ca there are cavalry divisions defending here. What is this? That's a joke, come on. That's a joke, come on. That cannot be true. That cannot be true.
Yeah, it seems that we managed to. It seems that we managed to do something here. That's wonderful. And it seems that now we have the logistics back. I don't know what happened before, but whatever. So let's go to the air and take the large airframe. Because we are gonna have them build the uh, um, strategic jet planes. We are going to produce a lot of them and deploy them in North America. Just 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 in case. Just in case. In Sweden here. Italy lost one million people. And Sweden 200 and super why is Sweden on both sides? I know against Sweden 200, okay. Oh god, I'm getting tired. Okay, finally. At least I'm encircling some people and. Ministero della Cultura Popolare, yes, sir. Look at Denmark that is taking a lot of our efforts and they're saying, no, it's, it, it's us. Denmark did it. Denmark did it. What are you talking about? Okay, it seems that something triggered in the logistics because now my troops can push finally. I don't know what happened before. Maybe you guys can explain in the comments, but that's pretty fine. Let's get to Bergen. Stockholm for real do I have to go there <laughs> do I have to go there Shit. So it seems that uh, Norway had all the troops uh, and there were four divisions in this, in the city of Oslo and that now they are without, everything is gone, they have no one to defend themselves. Taking Bergen, let's see what is the third capital and then they should collapse or maybe even now, let's see. mentally thinking okay not in the north not in the north not in the north but fine too easy otherwise right everything is kingdom of Denmark are you sure about this boy Another idea, my friends. That's much more important. All right. I hope that the US are weaker than Sweden and, and Norway, otherwise we're gonna lose. 
Come on, they're they're so close to capitulate. So close. Come on, come on, come on. Good job, boys. All right, it's, it's gone. Who's, who's there? Ah, now Sweden is not a, mi a minor nation, okay. Then, let's move forward. Let's do that. All right. We could have done a better aircraft already last uh, last year in the game, but I was kind of busy in kicking German's butt. <sighs> okay, as soon as as soon as this step is done, I need to take control of Egypt and Turkey and uh, the U.S. of course and Switzerland maybe. They should integrate also. What? The US are in a war against Germany. Right, it seems that now we are allied with with Germany and Japan. Not to, no, no, please, what the hell are you all doing here? What the hell are you all doing here? Let's spread them. Crazy stuff. Okay, let's close this war. Let's close it. Take as much territory as possible, and that's it. I mean, I I think that I think that we are there. <laughs> no, Sweden is a war against the U.S. <laughs> Don't ask me, guys. In Japan, and and the American Japan. So when we attack the US, we will have to attack those the American Japan later. Wow. I mean, I, I I don't understand where I can get the rest 20% for Sweden. They are virtually dead. They are maybe maybe I have to take Trondheim in Norway because it's, it counts as a Swedish uh, city now. I don't know. capital now so we have also some C come on really it's a mess it's a mess here I'm fully aware of this but I thought that I could close it uh, uh, earlier this is not the case They're actually doing a circle and then ordering us. All right. At least we have Trondheim. At least. Pronto, 
All right. Okay, this is a good. Please an encirclement. You are now the one. You get back to Lulea, which is supposed to be a Capita, I think, still, but who knows. And the Norwegian has, have taken Narvik now, even if they are. Te uh, technically, they are still um, capitulated, so. Okay, where's the next one? But the game is not showing me the next capital, so I don't know where should I go. Alright, thanks God. So, we're gonna take... <laughs> we have 93%, right? We're gonna take the full German Reich full stop we are gonna take all Slovakia and all Hungary we take all Norway all Sweden all the Netherlands all the Dutch and Chile and Slovakia no one is an, uh, annoying us we take also all the fleet everybody and what is this did I free Slovakia and now I conquered them all right Oof, finally, finally we managed my dear friends okay I think I will stop here and I wish you a great day or a great evening depending on when you're watching this episode in the last episode most likely we we'll see a cleaned up situation because this is a massive mess and i know that if i want to i mean conquer a little bit more i need to go to the us but i think that for the time being i will focus on turkey and egypt so that i can clean up the mediterranean and then i will see um i think that that's it ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching see you next time